All right, time for one of my personal favorites, the Ottoman Empire. Following the taking of Constantinople in 1453, the Ottoman Empire soon became a force to be reckoned with in the Middle East and around the Mediterranean. When Constantinople fell to Mehmet II in 1453, the Ottoman Empire began its golden age. The former Byzantine capital was renamed Istanbul and became the center of an enormous empire, which at its peak stretched from Algeria to Persia and Hungary to Arabia. The empire was founded by Osman I in 1301, and by 1389 it had extended into Europe. The Mongols halted its expansion for a while, but after taking Constantinople, Mehmet II quickly conquered 12 kingdoms and 200 cities in Anatolia and the Balkans. Then Selim I gained Syria, Arabia, and Egypt between 1512 and 1520. Suleiman the Magnificent. Uh, he ruled for 46 years from 1520. He conquered Belgrade and Hungary, but failed in his siege of Vienna, the capital of the Holy Roman Empire. He later took Mesopotamia, Armenia, and the Caucasus region. The Ottomans gained control of the Eastern Mediterranean and Black Sea, thereby dominating the Venetian and Genoan trade, and also North Africa and the Ukraine. To his own people, Suleiman was known as Kwani, the lawgiver, because he reformed the Ottoman administration and legal system. He gave shape to the Ottoman Empire, enriching everything from agriculture to courtly life. He was a poet, scholar, and patron of the arts, and he rebuilt much of Constantinople, uh, Istanbul. Europeans called him Suleiman the Magnificent because of the splendor of his court and his military victories in Europe. These included a series of campaigns in which he captured Belgrade and Yugoslavia in 1521, and threw the Crusader Knights of St. John's out of Rhodes in 1522. His greatest victory was at Mohawks, in Hungary in 1526, his siege of Vienna in 1529 threatened the heart of Europe, and he took the Muslim holy city of Mecca in 1538. Meanwhile, the Turkish fleet under the pirate Barbarossa, otherwise known as Kadir ad din Pasha, attacked and ravaged the coasts of Spain, Italy, and Greece. Muslim Wars. Suleiman waged three campaigns in the east against the Safavid Empire of Persia. This was a war between Muslims, between the Sunni Ottomans, and the Shiite Persians. Suleiman took Baghdad, but the eastern border of the empire was never secure. The wars between the two empires lasted throughout the 1500s and diverted Ottoman attention so that they did not advance further into Europe. And the start of the slow decline. When Suleiman died, his son Selim II became sultan. Selim uh, led a life of leisure while his ministers and generals ran the empire. The Ottomans themselves were not many in number. They relied on taking Russian and North African slaves and drafting one in five boys from their European territories to train them as administrators and soldiers. Ordinary people were left alone as long as they were obedient and paid taxes, and no one was forcibly converted to Islam. The Ottomans relied on Greeks, Armenians, Venetians, and other foreigners as traders making the Ottoman Empire international in character. However, by 1600, the empire had begun a long, slow decline. Don't forget that if you like this video, subscribe, like, share on Facebook. Every little bit helps. You guys are being great. Comment below and tell me what you think, whether you think it's a great video or a shitty video. I want to hear from you. This channel's for you guys. I'll see you later.